What's up, everybody? My name is Grimace. This is the Bespoke Woodsman. I am in downtown Long Beach, California, headed toward the Catalina Express and the Trans Catalina Trail. The Trans Catalina Trail is a roughly 38 mile trail. It transverses Santa Catalina Island off the coast of Long Beach. I'm going to be heading out today spending some time in Avalon, which is one of two towns, the bigger of two towns on the island. And then hiking out in the morning, spending four days to get to Two Harbors, which is the smaller of the two towns. And then taking the ferry back, it can only be accessed by boat or air. You cannot drive there. If you watched my Catalina Trail gear video and you're paying particularly astute attention, you may have noticed I added a piece of kit. I've got my Marmot Airlight wind jacket, wind shirt. Uh, I just wanted the versatility. I'm a little worried about A, the boat and the wind on the boat, and then B, I wanted to have the versatility of just a little added warmth. I haven't hiked in the cold in a long time. Not that it's going to get that cold on this trip, but I'm pretty acclimated to the summers, so I just wanted to have the versatility. Probably packing my fears, which is something we talk about in the ultralight community, but I'll take that chance. Coming up on the ferry now, the Catalina Express. That will take me to Avalon. And uh, catch you guys there. spending the night at my hotel headed to Vaughn's now just to pick up something for breakfast because it sounds like nothing's really gonna be open in time so I'm just gonna grab something at Vaughn's um, that I can pack out something maybe also for dinner get back get some sleep wake up get after
something on that. That would certainly be nice. Meanwhile, enjoying the hike. Despite the rain and the wind, it's nice to have none right now. So, good timing. Um, rain stopped long enough to make camp. It's about 3 o'clock right now. I think the sun sets in about an hour and a half. I'm not hungry, so I'm not eating. I'm going to make dinner tonight, obviously. There are two other groups here. Funny enough, we're all stacked right next to each other. There's a group of four and then a, a couple. Uh, my big concern right now is my phone. It's got water in the port, so I can't recharge it. So, hopefully I've taking that out and just drying it will help, I hope. Uh, TBD. So if this is the last bit you see of me, that's why. Um, but so far, good day. Tomorrow actually looks, it looked on paper like it was going to be much longer than today, but I actually don't think in practice it's going to be. I think it's going to be either the same or maybe even a little easier than today. Um, so uh, like I said, I'm going to take care of the rest of my chores, get some sleep, Wake up in the morning, that's when I'll see you. All right, bye everybody. Well, good morning. Um, the storm has hit. This is actually let down a little bit. Um, also, unfortunately, my tent seems to have a little bit of a leak. Um, the, mo the majority of it is holding up pretty good, but my, my quilt, the bottom of my quilt is soaked. Um, so I wonder if there's a tear in the floor. Um, which I'll have to look, take a look at. I'm not sure what the plan for today is going to be. I was supposed to hike into two harbors, and I was going to stop at the airport and have a burger on the way, but um, I'm, I'm not sure. I may need to call this thing a little early. Um, I'm also worried about my phone battery. Now the, now the air is blowing. I don't know if you can see that, but the wind is blowing the tent into my face. Anyway. Uh, that's the plan for today still is I was going to wait until about 9 so that I could grab a burger at the airport but I might just need to get on my feet and get going um, sooner than later because I think sitting in this tent is not a great idea right now um, well at least maybe wait till the if the rain dies down then I will certainly grab my window and, and run with it
I'll see you then. Is where I will part the Trans Catalina Trail, Empire Landing Road. I ran into some people at the airport who said that the trail was just washed out and very dangerous up along some bluffs toward Little Harbor. So, the best thing to do is to take Empire Landing Road, which I'm now on, into two harbors. I've rented a tent cabin for the night, so I'll be able to at least get my stuff spread out and dried out, get a roof over my head, so I don't have to worry about that. It's a little disappointing. Uh, I wanted to do the entire trail, but safety first, and you know, there isn't enough foot traffic to chance an accident anyway. So I'll come back when the weather's a little bit nicer, maybe bring a friend and do it again, but I'm having a great time. I'm really happy with how my body's holding up, uh, so far anyway. But, on my way to, uh, two harbors. Two harbors. Two harbors. Two harbors. I don't know.
where this journey ends. Hope you had a good time. I know I sure did. Uh, that was most some part of the Trans Catalina Trail. Uh, interrupted by weather. I had a great time anyway. Uh, I'm going to look into heading back probably in the morning. Uh, again, my name is Grimace. This is the Bespoke Woodsman. Appreciate you coming on this journey. If you liked it, please click thumbs up. If you didn't, please click thumbs down. Uh, leave a comment below if you have anything, any questions, any advice. And listen, this channel is about hiking, backpacking, backpacking gear. If those things interest you, consider subscribing. Uh, consider clicking the, the uh, notification bell. Love to have you with me. And hey, let's do this again sometime.